What's going on, everyone? Hello, and welcome back to the channel. So I want to install Home Assistant Floor Plan, but it requires the integration called Home Assistant Community Store, or HACS for short, and is an add-on for Home Assistant that allows you to quickly and simply integrate community-produced add-ons and custom elements. Once installed, you will be able to manage and discover a variety of new and exciting add-ons for your instance via the UI or user interface. So, in this video, I'll show you how to set up hacks for Home Assistant. So if this tickles your fancy, let's get started. The requirements for this integration are going to be minimal, but you will need a free GitHub account and the ability to SSH into your instance in addition to a Raspberry Pi running Home Assistant. But don't worry, I'll also show you how to install it if you are running a Docker instance of Home Assistant. I'll also put a link to GitHub in the video description, so let's get started with the necessary SSH integration. So in this instance, this is my Raspberry Pi, obviously, because we can see that here. And this one is my Docker. So for Raspberry Pi, we're going to start with SSH. And it's only going to be required for Home Assistant OS or Home Assistant supervised versions because they include the supervisor menu and the add-on store. So first ensure that your user has advanced mode enabled. So simply click on your Home Assistant username in the lower corner here and then scroll down the list to ensure advanced mode is enabled. Otherwise, the SSH integration will not be visible in the following steps. So now we will go to Settings and Add-ons, and then click on the Add-on Store. And in here, we're going to look for SSH. And we're going to install the terminal and SSH. and install it. And this install will change to a start once it has installed. And then we'll be able to open up the web user interface button, which is going to be over here, to enter the console. So we open the web user console, and we have a bad gateway. OK, let's see why is that. OK, we have to do some configuration set up. So we have to add authorized keys and a password. So in order to create those SSH keys, they have instructions here for Windows, and here's instructions for other platforms. I'm using Linux, so I'm going to follow this procedure here. And once I have that set up and saved in the configuration, I will bring the video right back. OK, so now that I've added my key to my configuration, I can now click on the Open Web UI. Let's make that bigger. So now that we are here on our terminal and SSH'd in, we're going to write the following command and press Enter. This is just the install script for hacks, which we need to install in order for the integration to show up in Home Assistant. And don't worry, this command will be in the description below. So it is wget q capital O, and then it's going to be https colon slash slash get hacks dot xyz. And then the pipe bash and the negative sign. And sorry about that. The it is just this w get dash o dash and then https, which this here will also be included in the description. So once we get the installation is complete in the console here, you can move on to the video bookmark for adding the hacks integration. Otherwise, I'm now going to demonstrate how to do the Docker installation. 
So moving over to our Docker instance, and depending on how you're running your container in Docker, you can either use the Docker exec command or load a bash shell in Portainer. So the following is the Docker exec command, and you do need to know what you named your container. I'm just going to open up a terminal, and that command is going to be docker exec dash it the container name and the bash shell and now we're in our container at a bash shell and we could paste that same command and it would install for docker the other way if you are running portainer like i am here is you can go into your portainer and go into your containers and in the home assistant container you can load the exec console i'll just make that bigger so here you can see the exec console so if we click on that we want to make sure that bin bash is selected and hit connect so now we're at that same bash prompt so we just paste in that same command wget dash capital o dash and then the HTTP get hacks XYZ pipe bash and the negative and hit enter. So it goes through and does the same thing that I just showed you. So using the Docker exec command is kind of just the same as SSHing in, but we're just SSHing right into the container. And the other method that I showed was Portainer, where you just click on the container and then the terminal icon. And then as well, once you see the message info installation complete, you can also move on to the video bookmark for adding the hacks integration. All right. From this point on, whether you're running Home Assistant OS, supervised or container, the steps are going to be the same. So now we're going to add the integration to our instance. And as it did say in the console, after we ran the script, the first thing we have to do is restart our instance. So in order to do that, we're going to go over to settings, and then we're going to go to system and click restart. For my version of Docker, it's going to be in settings, system, and restart again. So we'll just wait for those to connect back up, which it has. So after restarting, now we can finally add the integration. So we go back to settings and integrations. So then we click on add integration. And now we search for hacks and we see it here. So before we can install this, as it says, we have to acknowledge these four things and hit submit. And then we copy this code down here and we open up GitHub to authorize. So we're going to authorize it and now we're all set. So we can close this window and now Hacks is successfully installed. And when we're activating it with GitHub, uh, this is required because it needs to be able to pull all of the add-on libraries from GitHub. So while it is authorizing, don't close that window. And as I said, we have successfully installed Hacks into our instance, and it should be visible in the sidebar, which we see here. If not, you might have to erase the cache in your browser and then restart Home Assistant. And here's just a quick tip. If we come back over to our integrations page here and we click this configure button, we can see some configuration options available to us for the hack for hacks. So if you're running app daemon, you can enable auto discovery and tracking. And same with net daemon, you can also enable discovery and tracking. You can enable debug mode or you can enable the experimental features. Just hit submit and finish. And finally, hacks can severely affect your instance. Therefore, make sure to do regular backups of your instance 
And I made a video on how to manage your data in Home Assistant, which should be appearing in the, on the screen right about now. And I'm not too sure. We'll see in my container instance. You go over to settings, devices, and add the integration. I'm not too sure if my GitHub account will authorize both at the same time, but let's find out. Copy the code. Yeah, so, oh, maybe it will authorize. Okay. So it did, it authorized it both. Let's see, did that mess up this one? No, nope. perfect. Well, my friends, this is where I'm going to be leaving you. I hope you discovered something useful today. And if you made it this far, I really appreciate that. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below, and I hope to see you in future videos. Goodbye.